Today feels like Christmas, but it is summer and this video is about Halloween stuff. You're confused, I'm confused. <laughs> I have been wearing and supporting cotton candy feet for so many years and loved everything I've had from them, which has primarily been sweet things. Most of you probably associate me with Sweet Lolita because that's what you've seen the most of. I tend to film in front of my Sweet Lolita wardrobe, <laughs> but I actually have four other closets. <laughs> I have a cute clothes closet, I have a everyday goth clothes closet, I have a gothic Lolita closet, and I have a closet of other random darker Lolita clothes. So I have a lot of sweet Lolita shoes, which I'm very grateful for, but I don't have many dark Lolita shoes. Generally, when I wear gothic Lolita, I wear the same pair of flats from Taobao and then any boots that I have for my everyday goth clothes. So I jumped at the opportunity to work with Cotton Candy Feet so that I could have some more dark shoes. And I know that these shoes come in a lot of different colors, but I chose black and then one orange pair because that's just what I needed in my wardrobe. I'm so grateful that Cotton Candy Feet decided to send me their, I think this is essentially their entire Halloween collection because I've loved all of the sweet Lolita cotton candy feet shoes that I've had, they've become such a staple in my wardrobe, as well as the bags that I have. I especially wear them for events and conventions because they're really comfortable and really durable. Not exactly the most graceful unboxing. <laughs> what will the first one be? Always keep these bags from Cotton Candy Feet. They are so multi-functional, even if you don't store your shoes in these bags. I generally just like stack my shoes on shoe racks, but you will see how many uses these bags have. I'm working on a traveling and packing Lolita video, so subscribe and stay tuned for that. Woo! Ooh, so cute. Oh my gosh. If throughout the rest of the video I don't seem very excited, it's because I cut out a lot of my initial squealing when opening packages because I found that it got kind of annoying and repetitive and I would kind of go silent after squealing and just stare at them. Uh, yeah, so believe me, I'm very excited throughout this whole video. I'm just uh, trying to stay calm. I think everything is from the Spooky Collection and these are the Spooky Bat Flats. I like that there's an option for the details on this, the bow in the front and the bow in the back to be a more shiny and glittery. It gives it this nice dimension and pop, whereas if the whole shoe, I think if it were all this same texture material, it might look, might not stand out as much. So I really like that. I know that this is gonna be really comfy. These shoes are totally perfect for everyday wear. And also for Lolita, you could wear these with like your casual goth clothes. And also with Lolita, they have so much functionality to them. A subtle touch of spooky Halloween and cute. I'm so glad I didn't wear nails for this video. I'm so glad. Oh, this is the cauldron bag. This is the spooky witch cauldron bag and there's so many doodads to go along with it. The front of it has this Velcro strip which you can change the decoration on it, which can make it so useful for different coordinates. I feel like during Halloween season, we all wanna wear orange, but then throughout the rest of the year, I don't think that orange is super common in Lolita fashion, so you can switch it out for a pink one or any of their range of colors. And there is this bow style and then this bat bow style. This makes it so useful for creepy cute looks and then also more plain subtle styles. There's also a strip in the back. You can have this like plain black one on, or I think that it's so that you can use this bag reversibly. If you wanna have the pocket in the front, you can, or if you wanna just have a plain solid black purse, there you go. This is so cute. This is a belt to match everything. Wait, all right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm still on this purse. This looks like it will fit quite a decent amount and feels really sturdy. There's like an inner pocket in it and then a large main pocket. There's also a shorter strap so you can wear it like a handbag if you prefer instead of a crossbody, which gives you a lot of fun different ways to pose with this bag. I wanna put these accessories on already. <laughs> in my last video, I recommended adding bats to a coordinate and this is perfect. A perfect way to just add a bunch of bats. 
I want to put these on now, but I'm gonna wait for my next coordinate. <laughs> this is the Spooky Academy bag. It's so cute. I have the large version of the Frilly Academy bag and I'm sorry, I'm so happy. <laughs> I have the the large version of the Frilly Academy bag and it's been one of my perfect go-to convention bags. It can fit so much. And I've owned similar bags like this in the past of this sort of shape and size, but the quality has been kind of garbage. Like you would be able to like really, they'd be really bendy and squeezy and like not structured. Whereas this, just feeling this feels so nice. <laughs> You can tell that it's really gonna last a long time. And I know this because my Philly Academy has already. So it doesn't have hooks like the larger one to be a backpack, but that's totally fine because I really like how this is as a purse. And this is a, a really nice size for a purse. Sometimes the Frilly Academy one can kind of weigh down certain petticoats, whereas I feel like this one won't because it's shorter. It's a nice alternative depending on how you like to wear your bags. And of course you can hold it by its handle as well. This, I think, might become like my everyday bag. Like, it's so nice. <laughs> Again, I like the different textures between the like details and the main body of the bag. I like that it's not too, too over, overly extreme because you could wear this with pretty much any everyday goth outfit or with Lolita, it has enough kind of character to it to fit in with a Lolita coordinate and not look too plain, but it also isn't too loud that it can't be paired with everyday looks. It has a zip up side pocket and then a large main body. With oh my gosh, the orange ones. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> They're so bright, so nice. Dorito, goth Dorito shoes, perfect for Halloween. I cannot wait to wear these. I feel like these shoes alone added to a gothic coordinate or a more spooky themed coordinate is immediately gonna make it have Halloween vibes. It's perfect for that. Oh my gosh, this bow is just so satisfying, so perfect. Cotton Candy Feet has really perfected their bow shapes. They're just so, look at the little like fold. It's the perfect Lolita bow, it's so satisfying, so gorgeous. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is gonna get dirty. <laughs> Cause that's what I would be thinking. But Cotton Candy Feet's pleather material, as long as you have a magic eraser, I honestly recommend just carrying a little magic eraser on on you, with you. It'll wipe right off. It looks like candy or like a toy. This does not fit the rest of the vibe of the video. <laughs> But it is available right now in a bunch of different colors. This could also be an everyday purse if you wear more pastels and cute clothes. I can be your devil or your angle. I'm so happy that I now have two bags that perfectly encompass my entire personality. Am I gonna wake up and be a spooky or am I gonna be an absolute cutie? Doesn't matter because I'm ready either way. These are the triple spooky bat heels. I really love the stacked bats look. I love the stacked straps on Lolita shoes. I think that they add such a nice elegant quality and kind of elongate your leg. <laughs> I was gonna say make your ankle look very nice, but it's true. Let's take all of these wonderful shoes and bags out for a test and see how they style and how they wear. I tried these pieces with the coordinate I was wearing, which is an old school Baby the Starshine bright dress, along with a Ghost Girl Goods mesh dress. A friend who was with me said I had Halloween Alice in Wonderland vibes, which I really felt that way as well. I think this could be a nice casual coordinate for daily wear and meeting up with friends. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say the word spooky so many times. <laughs> Get ready for it. I didn't get to talk much about the accessories yet. I added the spooky bat belt along with the spooky bat bracelets to my spooky macarons JSK by Lady Sloth paired with the orange spooky bat shoes and the cauldron bag with the orange bow. I'm seriously living for this coordinate. I didn't want to ever take it off. I already want to wear it again even though I have nowhere to go. I think this coordinate would be perfect for a Halloween themed meetup or tea. 
My contacts, if you are curious, are scleras, and this style is often called medusa, but it varies from where you purchase them. I generally use these lenses for much scarier looks, but I think it adds a small element of scary with the cuter makeup and cute Halloween theme. I don't think it's that scary. I don't know, you can be the judge of that. Let me know in the comments. How do you feel about these lenses? Even my best friend who isn't a Lolita totally understood what I was going for with this coordinate. I wanted to show the versatility of these items by pairing them with my non-Lolita clothes too. This is a dress from Foxblood and is more along the lines of what I wear in my offline life. I think the mini Spooky Bat Academy bag and Spooky Bat flats fit into this outfit nicely without making it read Lolita. I love how the spooky bat belt adds more interest to this punk rave dress. With this style of neckline, I find it hard to wear necklaces, so having this belt is a nice adornment. The spooky triple bat shoes make this outfit look much more elegant, and I feel like I should be going to a fancy dinner. Each of these items have different windows of time in which they are available, and you definitely want to plan ahead if you would like to have them for this Halloween season. I've included this information in graphics, but it also helps to follow Cotton Candy Feet's social media as they will often post reminders. Cotton Candy Feet products are handmade with vegan friendly materials. All of their items are made in house in Brazil where they are based. They do not have a separate manufacturer, and all items will ship out from them in Brazil. They are constantly working to improve their products, including new comfort insole padding as well as heel padding. With all of their products, there are so many different color combinations and possibilities that I know you can find the perfect pair of shoes and bag to match any dress or skirt and complete your coordinate. If there is a dress you are having difficulty styling in the shoe or bag department, please let me know in the comments. For reference, I got the size 39BR and typically wear size 9 in women's USA North America sizing. I encourage you to check your own measurements. If you want to see more updates on all of these pieces, please follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. If you aren't able to follow me on TikTok, I usually post my TikToks to my YouTube stories here as well. I'm going to be diving more into the mini Frilly Academy bag and demonstrating what can fit inside of all of these bags through my TikTok videos. I'm really excited to add all of these pieces to my everyday wardrobe and Lolita and I can't wait to use and style them in even more ways. And this time, stay spooky!